How is information like this um, being taught to younger brothers and sisters? Like, is there um, uh, is there like a type of way that you're trying to incorporate this in the school system, board of education, and that nature? Or stuff like this would definitely not be taught at school. No, that sounds like the <laughs> curriculum of inclusion. <laughs> That's not something they wanna they want us to do. So we need again institutions like the African Poetry Theater. And we implore you to bring out your young people so that they can come here to type of information. Um, also, the brother Shabazz here, he has the ongoing lecture series. It was Eye Opener. Uh, what's the last part? Productions. Eye Opener Productions. And um, again, like we said, we have um, Tony Brown, who's going to be there tomorrow. Um, starts at 2 p.m. at LIU. And I guess, you know, he can come up and make the announcement so people can know about it. Um, <clears throat> we need to get more involved. In this community aspect, there's a lot of information out there, visual and also written. There's a lot of books. Um, we need to form study groups so we can educate our own children because it's not going to be something that's going to be put in schools. Because if we're put in schools, then they, they're defeated, and they know that. Next question. In the 21st century, to simplify of your knowledge for the average brother and sister on the street who basically don't want to be preached to, they don't want to be taught, they figure they're in school or they dropped out, so they really don't want to hear too much. What what strategies or what ways can you reach brothers and sisters like that? Well, you're trying to solve all the problems. <laughs> um, well, that's, that's a good question. We have to find ways to relate to the average person. Um, for myself, I take a practical approach, and you know my, my ongoing studies in African history and our story has been you know it's been a it's been a journey. But throughout those those journeys, those bumps in the roads, I realized one thing that the most important thing to us is our people, and we need to get out there and reach out. There. The Western Hemisphere has an ideology of God and a sense of being. They conceptualize God and a sense of being a very jealous nature creator. And the reality is that God didn't create men. Men created gods. That's it. The creator does not exist. But the concept of God as we know it comes from our psyche. So these emotions that God has comes from who we are. We gave God those emotions. And we talk in sense of the ancient comedic temples, those temples and universities where people would actually go to learn about a particular aspect of the creator or nature. So we have situations where you go into these temples, they weren't necessarily modern day known as modern day houses of worship, we would actually go to pray to a particular energy, but yet you would go to learn about a particular aspect of the universe. You understand what I'm saying? So teaching is always at the foremost of what we've always done. You know what I'm saying? And doing such as you teach, you acknowledge and you adore. But we need to to figure out ways and strategize, and it's something that we have to look at too in a more you know um, serious basis and have a systems analysis and really identify ways and strategies to try to get out some of the, the people from the street. I know you know certain things that was done years ago. We probably did, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, go back to some of the strategies that we used back in the '60s. You know, one thing that kind of troubled me when I look at this. I see some of the same things that we've been going on for about 40, 50 years, and we see them in the struggle have become so much stagnant. So we need to figure out ways how to move forward. I was watching the Mac the other night, and there was a party, there, and they were in there, and they were like, we're doing the same thing now we were doing in the 60s. Mm -hmm. What has changed? You know, so we need to get back to some of the things and move forward, and take steps and steps and leaps forward into, into the future. Next question, if any. All right, well, so okay, that's it. let's give Mr. Kenneth 